Hello and welcome to the Neurology Channel. Today, we're going to delve into a complex yet fascinating topic, chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, or CIDP. CIDP is a rare neurological disorder that affects the peripheral nerves, causing weakness, numbness, and impaired sensation. Let's break it down. In CIDP, the body's immune system mistakenly attacks the myelin sheath, a protective covering of nerve fibers, leading to inflammation and damage. This disrupts nerve signal transmission and can result in a range of symptoms, from mild to severe. Let's talk about what happens in your body when you have chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, or CIDP. Imagine your nerves are like wires sending messages from your brain to different parts of your body. These messages control things like movement, sensation, and coordination. Now, imagine these wires are covered by a protective layer called myelin, like the insulation around an electrical wire. In CIDP, your immune system, which is supposed to protect you from germs and sickness, gets a little confused and starts attacking this myelin covering on your nerves. It's like your body's soldiers mistakenly attacking the wrong target. When the myelin gets damaged from this attack, it causes inflammation and disrupts the messages traveling along your nerves. This can lead to problems like weakness, numbness, and difficulty with movement or sensation in different parts of your body. Sometimes, your body tries to repair the damaged myelin but in CIDP, this process doesn't work as well as it should. The inflammation keeps coming back, leading to ongoing damage to the nerves and causing the symptoms of CIDP to persist or worsen over time. So in simple terms, CIDP is like a miscommunication problem between your immune system and your nerves, which leads to damage to the protective covering of your nerves and disrupts their ability to send messages properly. So what are the common symptoms of CIDP? Let's talk about the signs that your body might be showing if you have chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, or CIDP. CIDP can cause a variety of symptoms, but they all have to do with your nerves not working quite right. Imagine your nerves are like wires sending messages to your muscles and skin, telling them what to do. When CIDP messes with these nerves, it can cause a bunch of different problems. One of the most common symptoms is weakness. It might feel like your muscles are getting tired easily or aren't as strong as they used to be. This weakness can happen in different parts of your body, like your legs, arms, or even your face. You might also feel strange sensations like tingling or numbness. It's kind of like when your foot falls asleep, but it happens more often and in different places on your body. Some people with CIDP have trouble with balance and coordination. Walking might feel wobbly or unsteady, and you might find yourself tripping or stumbling more than usual. Pain is another symptom that some people experience. It can be sharp or dull, and it might come and go or be constant. It's often described as aching or burning, and it can be really uncomfortable. Feeling tired all the time, even when you haven't done much, is another common symptom of CIDP. This fatigue can make it hard to do everyday activities and might leave you feeling worn out. So if you notice any of these symptoms, especially if they're getting worse or affecting your daily life, it's important to talk to your doctor. They can help figure out what's going on and come up with a plan to manage your symptoms and improve your quality of life. Diagnosis of CIDP can be challenging due to its varied presentation and the need to rule out other conditions. It often involves a thorough clinical evaluation, nerve conduction studies, electromyography, EMG, and sometimes nerve biopsies or imaging tests. Let's talk about how doctors figure out if you have chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, or CIDP, when you go to the doctor because you're having strange symptoms like weakness, tingling, or trouble walking, they'll want to figure out what's going on. Diagnosing CIDP involves a few different steps to help them understand what's happening in your body. The first thing your doctor might do is ask you questions about your symptoms, like when they started, how they feel, and if anything makes them better or worse. They'll also want to know about your medical history and any other health problems you might have. Next, your doctor might order some tests to look at how your nerves are working. One common test is called a nerve conduction study. This test involves placing small electrodes on your skin to measure how quickly electrical signals travel along your nerves. Another test your doctor might do is called electromyography, or EMG for short. This test involves inserting tiny needles into your muscles to see how well they're working, and if there are any problems with the nerve signals reaching them. Depending on your symptoms and test results, your doctor might also order other tests like blood tests, MRI scans, or a lumbar puncture, spinal tap, to rule out other possible causes of your symptoms. Once your doctor has all the information they need, they can make a diagnosis of CIDP. It's important to remember that diagnosing CIDP can take time and might involve seeing different specialists or having more than one test. Let's talk about how doctors treat chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, or CIDP, 
to help manage your symptoms and improve your quality of life. When you're diagnosed with CIDP, your doctor will work with you to come up with a treatment plan that's tailored to your specific needs and symptoms. There are several different treatment options available, and you might need to try a few different approaches to find what works best for you. One common treatment for CIDP is corticosteroids, which are medications that help reduce inflammation in your body. They can help calm down your immune system and stop it from attacking your nerves. Another treatment option is intravenous immunoglobulin therapy, or IVIG for short. This involves getting a dose of antibodies from donated blood through a vein in your arm. These antibodies help regulate your immune system and reduce inflammation in your nerves. Plasma exchange, also known as plasmapheresis, is another treatment option for CIDP. During this procedure, your blood is filtered to remove harmful antibodies and other substances that might be causing inflammation in your nerves. In addition to these treatments, your doctor might also prescribe other medications like immunosuppressants or immunomodulatory drugs to help control your symptoms and prevent flare-ups of CIDP. It's important to remember that CIDP is a chronic condition, which means that it might require long-term treatment to help keep your symptoms under control. Your doctor will work closely with you to monitor your progress and adjust your treatment plan as needed. If you have any questions or concerns about your treatment for CIDP, don't hesitate to talk to your doctor. They're here to help you feel better and improve your quality of life. The goal of treatment is to reduce inflammation, manage symptoms, and prevent disease progression. This may involve immunomodulatory therapies, such as corticosteroids, intravenous immunoglobulin, IVIG, plasma exchange, plasmapheresis, or immunosuppressive medications. Additionally, physical therapy and occupational therapy can play a crucial role in improving strength, mobility, and overall quality of life for individuals living with CIDP. These therapies can help maintain muscle function, improve balance and coordination, and minimize the impact of CIDP-related symptoms on daily activities. Living with CIDP can present challenges, but with proper medical care, support, and lifestyle adjustments, many individuals can manage their symptoms effectively and lead fulfilling lives. Thank you for joining us today on the Neurology Channel. Stay tuned for more informative videos on neurological conditions and brain health. Until next time, take care and stay informed.